hello and welcome to the show. I am here on a car mechanic simulator. Today I'm going to be rebuilding my reptilia over here. I have uh, got a little bit more money. Hopefully I can do a, a decent amount of work uh, to getting this car to a, a decent standard. From now on I'm not going to do any more work uh, twos or customer cars. All the money I'm going to get on this game is going to come from repairing these vehicles. So I'm going to have to try and kind of make the most of, of whatever money I have. The car is uh, basically stripped down as much as it, uh, as it can be. I'm hoping with this money we can have it in pretty good condition by the time that I finish with it. Now, I think I may have accidentally put some of the good parts that I repaired back into customer cars, because a lot of the bits are interchangeable. I may have done that to a few bits. So, yeah, there is some... Uh... Some odds and ends in here, so we're going to start by just going through, repairing everything in uh, in this lot. We're going to hopefully get most bits to being, well, that bit there's gone. Uh, over 60%, I'm going to be happy with that. Uh, the starter's gone, brake calipers, okay, we can get that shoe up to a decent enough level. Everything over 60%, I'm going to... Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep for the sake of this first build and to try and save a bit of money and and so on we're gonna have uh, we're not gonna go for just brand new of everything or all risk you know the, the possibility of breaking bits and so on so we're gonna stick back in the parts that uh, that I have at the moment and see what we're working with a uh, fuel filter that can stay on there it's about one of the very <laughs> There's not a lot. There was not a lot of stuff that came off of this car that is of that is of any use. What I am also going to do is once I put back these parts that are useful, the rest of the junk I am going to sell. There's no purpose in in, in me keeping it. I can't repair it. Oh, the crankshaft is buggered to hell. That's uh, that one there. So how much bits can we get? Uh, can we get back on the car? There are odds and ends. I'm not actually sure if we've got any. Okay, the front steering knuckles can go back on, and we have a wheel hub. <laughs> Mo there's going to be just the odd random bits and pieces around here. There's a front suspension. I do love the way that we're going to have just random floating bits of, of metal around the car to begin with as I go to put on these bits and pieces. The sway bar is, is not going to be in, in working order. Uh, do we have any brake discs? I don't actually know. We have... nope. Uh, we can't fix up the brake discs. Once they're worn, I don't think uh, they can't be... they can't be re... Uh, re, re repaired, whatever. Um, yeah, they can't they can't be fixed up, so that's just gonna have to stay over there. They're gonna have to buy new brake discs for this. Did we? Uh, we'll have to come back to to that right. What have we got at the rear? Ah, we have got the axle. The axle was uh, in good condition. We got the rear. The rear, in fact, the rear bits of the car are actually not too bad. These are all the bits that I took off that I repaired from the uh, from the car. So this is good news for me when it comes to saving all the money. All the brake, I got I got loads of cramped up brake drums. <laughs> you can tell that I spend most of my time repairing brakes on the cars to earn money. That the quick, easy jobs for for XP that I've been doing are mostly brakes and exhausts. So, yeah, <laughs> you can tell that by the part inventory that I have. Uh, it doesn't mean we have some decent condition brake shoes, and uh, none of that is going to work. Fuel tank, did we get that repaired? No, the fuel tank's still a bit crapped up. Uh, what about the... I can't remember what bits we got repaired. Ah, we did get the spring caps repaired. Rear springs are beyond use, as are the shock absorbers. What about these control arms? Are they one? We've got one decent control arm. Again, anything that we can put back on is, you know, stuff that we don't have to buy. Uh, <laughs> there are actually more bits that I can put back on um, than I was kind of, I kind of feared we were going to be at the state where I have to pretty much just buy everything new back, but uh, most of the bits are going on here. Not too badly, certainly on the back. We haven't got to the <laughs> to the engine bit. I think we're about maybe one salvageable piston from the whole lot. I don't actually know where we stood with exhausts uh, on this car. Again, we're going to have a lot of... Uh, <laughs> you can tell I've done a lot of work on the uh, the V8 stuff with that spare exhaust bits. We've got one decent muffler to go on there. I think that's about it for. Oh, do we have any upper upper suspension arm? Yeah, we will. I will. I will take. I'll take that one there. It's not the the greatest condition. It's a damn sight better than a hell of a lot of the stuff that I have seen come in on some vehicles. And sixty percent on that exhaust pipe. I'll put that one there in steering rack. Nope, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's not going to give you any steering. I suspect. Is it just pure orange? Uh, oh yeah. So it is. It, it's uh, yeah. Pretty <laughs> pretty useless, really. Okay, um, and let's have a look. What have we got left? Okay, we've got some bits of some bits of engine now. I think if we go sell junk, I hope that's only going to sell the bits beyond use. Fingers crossed. Um, 
Well, it's it's sold some bits. There's some, there's quite a lot of junk is still here. We'll come back. I'll worry about that. Uh, I'll worry about that at a later time. Right, where is a good place to start with this car? Um, right, well, from down here, we're going to have to do the crankshaft. That is going to be an important bit, so we'll buy that. That's going to be kind of like the first bit to uh, to get back in there. These are going to be expensive uh, bits and pieces, basically. I had hoped we could have saved the, the crankshaft, but... Uh, Oh, did I buy? Oh, crap, I'm an idiot. Uh, I managed to buy... I just thought there was a fleet. I didn't realise there was a separate one. Crap, I spent a whole bunch of money. Already we got off to a poor start. Well, that was all of the money that uh, I bought or I spent or saved from selling that crap has all been wasted immediately. Incredible work by me. Uh, were any of... Oh, these are in decent enough condition. That's always... Not that these are particularly expensive. Uh, again, did we save the gearbox? I think we might have saved the gearbox uh, from this car. The flywheel is uh, ruined, but uh, that's, that's quite an expensive part. I don't know what the most expensive... I mean, I'm kind of guessing like engine block would probably be the most expensive part. Can I get to the remaining... Oh, this one's always a bit of a bugger to try and get to. Hey, camera. Uh, <laughs> well, often things are easier on here, just sometimes... Oh, no, now we click on the crankshaft. Well, that's a little bit better than we were. There we go. When there's so much to replace on the car, it gets a, a little bit on the on the difficult side. Um, right, was that all we needed to do uh, down from underneath here? Um, I know we need to do sort of flywheel and stuff. Uh, let's go get that one next. Please say... Oop, why did I put fly? <laughs> My brain just automatically finished that word. I have no idea why. Okay, flywheel. Did we save any of the clutch? Uh, nope, we, uh, that was obviously part of the of the junk. So, seeing as I don't quite know how much of this we're going to need, there will probably be a fair bit of backwards and forwards in. Uh, we will need one of them, though, so we will get that. Uh, clutch plate can go in there. Uh, we're at 9,900. I think we can do this to a very, very, for a, to a decent, sort of decent level, decent degree. This car will be finished up to. We're going to need that as well. Yep. <laughs> uh, next time, if we could go, oh crap, we do need a V8 uh, gearbox. That's not going to be fun. Please don't be expensive. Please don't be expensive. Uh, V8, remember which one we're looking for. Overhead valve one. Uh, it could be worse. That's the nice cheapest one. Thank God. That is actually also good news. That's uh, <laughs> this car looks like we're going to have the uh, the nice cheap parts for uh, or cheap er parts for repairing it. Certainly, it probably does mean that come the end of the day, we're not going to quite get as much money when we're finished with it. However, it's uh, it makes it easier for me. Certainly, kind of starting out. Uh, I'm assuming, uh, let's not assume, uh, it is the V8 starter though. <laughs> I didn't actually know there was different types of starters, I kind of just assumed that they were all the same one. Again, like the flywheel is interchangeable between just about everything, really. I kind of assumed that would be the same for the rest of the car. Uh, drive shaft, drive shaft's in good, good enough, Nick, at least. It's a, it's a little bit rusty, but again, uh, we got the car in pretty poor condition, so I'm hoping we got a relative bargain. I know like 17, oh is it 7, no, 16,900, sorry dollars for what was essentially a bucket of rust does seem like quite a lot however uh, for the way that this game works it's not actually that bad i, I don't think at least uh, let's have a look we can actually check how much the car is worth at various stages of repair so if i <laughs> if i sell the car now it's worth more money than i paid for it so even with just the tiny little bits of stuff that I put in, so this car is actually going to net me quite a nice little profit, really, when when we're done with it. I mean, hell, even if I just stuff it full of all the old crappy parts that we have at the moment, it's still going to net me a, a, a nice enough profit. Uh, one pi Can I really not repair any more of the pistons? That surprises me. Um, no, we can't. Okay. Um, yeah, the rest of that stuff there can, can stay. Um, right, so we're going to need seven of the pistons. It's just okay, so there's no there's no different pistons for us to buy, so we will need a whole bunch of these. Four, five, six, seven. Ouch, that's an expensive lot. <laughs> just realised how expensive them things are. Yeah, um it would have been nicer if we could have had more of the pistons come out in good nick. Jesus, they are so expensive. <laughs> 
Ouch. Well, there goes a lot of our budget already. I was kind of worried about the bodywork parts, but they're not actually as bad as I kind of feared. Um, the the bodywork is uh, sort of the panels and so on. They're only kind of 250 each. Uh, when you need a whole bunch of pistons, uh, that's when it starts getting expensive. Got no engine heads. Um, okay, we've got one... <laughs> We've got one valve push rod that's any good condition. Uh, we've got a couple of rocker arms that are, that are decent, so we're going to need oh crap, we're gonna need a lot of them, aren't we? Uh, engine head, how much are these going to be? Oh, this is where we have a little cry when I realise I thought I had enough money. Um, engine head, oh god, I'm so glad that engine block was in decent condition and we didn't break it repairing it, because that's, well, I say it's stupid money, it, you know, it's what you expect, but it's, uh, it's a lot more than I could really afford with... Uh, with this when you're just kind of just just starting out i may have i think overstretched myself slightly going for uh going for a big v8 uh car when i didn't quite have the money to really go with it uh so yeah for this we will uh, i'm trying to kind of save money in, in a sensible way again we've got we've got a couple of okay bits uh to stick on the top i know you do get bonuses if you get everything to 100 percent, but i kind of like to have have kind of enough parts to get the thing working can we get like a completed bit get some crap out of my inventory we can over this side right so we're going to need um 15 uh valve push rods i think for all of this and a whole bunch of uh rocker arms uh yeah well fortunately these aren't too expensive seven i'm just trying to count now and <laughs> it's really hard to commentate uh, and count enough of these bits out We've, we have a couple left over i don't really care uh <laughs> Basically, <laughs> there's only five dollars, so I don't really care. Uh, stick in a whole bunch of new ones down here. Um, I think most of our timing gear was repaired to an acceptable standard, so I think we are okay with that stuff. I think I saw a lot of those parts were in, in decent nick, which is again good news. Saves uh, saves as much money as we can really. Uh, manifolds? I, I think I might have got the manifolds as well. In. Oopsie, we don't want to be doing that quite yet. We will get around to that. I think I put a whole bunch too many of these. Yes, I did, because I can't count, really. Um, right, we need another whole bunch of bloody rocker arms. Right, back to counting with me. Uh, what was it? Uh, right, so we need uh, eight. We need 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. Wow, that money is going down quickly. Uh, <laughs> now that we've come to uh, yeah, come to this stage, now there are parts that I can sell in my inventory. The stuff that didn't get sold as junk, but is beyond repair or beyond. I don't know. Yeah, there's, there's just some bits that just can't be repaired. I think I've maxed out my level now. Uh, with yes, I have because I got the body frame upgrade tool. Maxed out my levels for uh, repairing of parts. Um, so yeah, there's just some bits that, that you can't can't repair. I mean, things like brake pads and stuff are, is more wear than kind of breaking, and you can't really fix that. So it kind of makes sense to an extent. Uh, right. Well, the engine is almost back together again. Did we? That's a good question. Did we the brake server? Did that? Oh, I think I broke the brake server, didn't I? I think that was something that I tried to repair, and yeah, we broke it. Uh, oh look, we got a shine. <laughs> well, I mean that's good. At least it looks all right. We got a nice a nice shiny. Um, <laughs> head cover. I think we've already got one though. I'm guessing the other one probably got. To... Oh no, we have got two. Look at that. We have shiny bits on the engine. What more could you possibly want from <laughs> from a car? Fantastic. Uh, we will have to go underneath. I think we need to put the oil pan back on, don't we? Spark plugs. Oh, uh, we've got a couple of good enough condition spark plugs. Yeah, we'll go buy um, some... Do not come with a full accompaniment of spark plugs in here, or are there... There's not some still in here. Don't be silly, because I just put the thing back on. Right, we need six spark plugs. These are a nice, cheap, easy thing to bloody go and find. Um, right, four, five... Uh, that, that's... I think that's right. Um, if not, again, well, I'm sure I'll need them at some point. The engine is coming together. It's almost finished now. The, the engines are not really the kind of fearfully expensive parts um there's quite a fair bit of suspension stuff that I, I don't have on the vehicle so ah yes we will just slot the camshaft in there completely oh, never mind <laughs> uh oh crap we don't have a oh we don't have a cam gear either 
damn it, I thought I had more timing gear and more timing stuff in half decent condition. Ow, that is a lot of money for, for a fairly little part, but there we go. Timing chain, yeah, that's a good enough nick. That can go on there. Uh, all the stuff down there is done. Timing cover is not looking terribly rusted, so <laughs> that can go on the vehicle as well. Oh yeah, we did have water, work, a working water pump, or a decent enough condition water pump. Yeah, decent enough for me. For Again, this is just the first car that I've... Mm, kind of like a better one of them though, wouldn't we? Uh, yeah, we'll go for another we'll water pump. Put it unless it's like three hundred dollars, in which case then I might stick with the fifty-five percent one. Water pump, no, <laughs> that's fine. And oh, there was another gear thing, wasn't there, that we needed? Um, was it gear or was it another pulley thing down the bottom? I've forgotten what it is already. Uh, crankshaft pulley. We can get one of them again. Please don't be too expensive. It's literally just me praying that stuff isn't oh, like that. <laughs> We're down to five thousand. Down to five thousand. Um. I have I, I have kind of found with with this that as as much as I'm trying to sort of keep money down and whatnot, it's actually not quite as ridiculously bad as as you think. Even with the some expensive bits, I got no, nothing apparently over here is is working. Exhaust manifolds, right? We've got a nice shiny one of these. Seeing as I've got like three exhaust manifolds kicking around, what I might do is. As I can repair them, uh, if I lose one, it doesn't going to matter because the chances are, uh, out of sort of the three that I have kicking about, one of the, okay, or it can work perfectly first time. Sweet, because uh, <laughs> even if I break one of them, it's, it's not kind of an immediate disaster because another one I can, the other one I can hopefully repair up or it's at a suitable level already. So again, trying to uh, be clever with the saving money is uh, is working okay with that because they're fairly expensive things, I think. Right, engine. Engine is looking fairly decent. We will go. We'll start getting the ignition parts. How much of these do I have wandering wandering around in my uh, inventory? I hope I don't have to go through all of it, but we will see. Right, 100%. Oh. <laughs> it was it was worth a try. Uh, we'll get you as well. I, mean, I could go sit through the inventory, but the chances are I'm going to have forgotten by the time I come round again to. Um, uh, oh, do we have, um, I'm assuming you're just that one, you're not the i6 one, so let's go for that, and the wires are, nope, they're all shot to hell, so we will need ignition wires V8, there are no different sorts of them, right, okay, engine is looking pretty solid, we've just got sort of the auxiliary stuff to get, alternator, power steering, pump, so... Oh, these are all going to be expensive as well, aren't they? Yeah, and... Oh, crap. Come on now. My typing is starting to fail. Power steering pump. Uh, that can go on that side. Oh, these are all probably going to need belts of some sort, aren't they? Please be working ones. That's good enough for me. And you can go on that side. And please be a working belt over here. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll take it. <laughs> For now, we may we'll, we'll see how we're doing money-wise, uh, or if or if I remember. This alternator is much bloody easier to do on here than it is on the MX-5. That was yeah, that didn't get the <laughs> wasn't fun to try and get to that in uh, in my car. Uh, right, I think that's most of the engine done now. Engine's pretty rebuilt. There are some shiny bits, uh, shiny gearbox. Um, yeah, there was no there was no other covery bits to go on there. So I would say that is the engine pretty much sorted on my uh, Reptilia. Right, now we have to do the suspension and kind of running gear, uh, general stuff down here. Now I've got to be careful because a fair amount of stuff, uh, I say I've got to be careful, a fair amount of stuff would have been sold when I cleared out the junk. So, oh, we haven't got the oil pan down here, have we? Okay, not that we have one. Uh, right, front suspension cross member, and I believe these are... Ah, right, there are different ones. I thought there was one for all of them. There isn't. Which one are you? Uh, assemble, assemble mode? Are we going to go to... Ah, we have to click on it first, of course. Okay, it's just the normal standard one. I can work with that. It is the most expensive. But we're not going to buy the wrong bit, at least. Okay, so that goes on there. Now, we have one of these bottom... Yeah, we do have one bottom suspension arm that is in good enough shape for what I want to be doing with it. Do we have... Uh, I don't know about them. <laughs> I'd like better. Of course, the steering rack was shot to hell. The front sway bar is also busted. So, we will... Yeah, we'll have to... Um, yeah, I think we'll buy shock absorbers. Uh, double wishbone shock absorber. Uh, we'll see. How, again, we'll see how much they are. If they're 
too absurd. Front uh, double wishbone shock absorber. Now we'll get two of them. I think that's uh, it's just outside kind of where I uh, where I wanted it to be. Front spring. Oh, we're definitely going to have to. Uh, Get some of them. I mean, at the end of the day, if if I do start running out of money, as you saw, I could sell the car at whatever stage I want, and we're going to make a profit on this. And that's that's the important thing with this. I don't think you can really lose money from from buying the cars because if I just if I just buy a car and uh, strip everything out, repair the parts that I can, and if I break some or you know the, the bits that I can't repair, if I can stick everything back in together, it all sort of works out as I'll I'll still make money on it. So. Yeah, it's uh, kind of hard to lose money, but of course you still want to try and uh, sort of do as well with the uh, with the rebuilds as you can. All right, we have a shiny part on this side, and not a shiny part on the other side, but never mind. We will get you in here, and then we should have. I think I already bought all of the springs and the cap on this side. Ah, there it is. That's what we want to be clicking on. Right, then we're going to need a sway bar and the. Steering rack. I hope I have some of the drive uh, drive line bits from the steering rack. I can't remember if we do or not. Uh, right, sway bar. How are we doing money wise? Oh, we're down. Which sway bar is it? Is it just a front sway bar? Yes, it is. We're down to three thousand four hundred, and uh, I, I I was kind of expecting to be in slightly worse shape than this uh, <laughs> when it came money wise. Uh, so yeah, it's not too bad. We do need that steering rack though. Uh, perhaps it probably wasn't the best idea to sell the junk. It probably would have been better to wait until after I'd finished building the car, so that if bits needed uh, kind of sticking on here, uh, I would have had them, uh, even if they are in poor condition. I don't know if you get more money for having the car with the, the poor condition parts, or whether you're just better off not having it with them at all. I uh, don't know. I assume it's probably better to have the parts with it, because it's sort of a higher percentage complete. Are we going to need a billion rubber bushings? Probably. Uh, <laughs> it's the bane of building some of these cars up. Uh, we don't have an oil pan, do we? Uh, right, then that's that side. Uh, over here, pretty sure we don't have any more of these. Sway bar front end link B. No, we don't have any more of them. Uh, Sway bar front end link B. And then we're going to need both an inner and an outer tie rod on this side. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, we want you to get on there. I really need a new mouse. Um, and we wanted one of them in there. And we wanted one in there. Uh, right, okay, what am I talking about with the, the running gear over here? Of course we don't need that, it's not a front-wheel drive car. I've, I've built so many bloody front-wheel drive cars that uh, <laughs> I was expecting it to need bits that it doesn't. Okay. Do we go around the back? Uh, 2,500. We could do with... Uh, we. I guess, of course I bought the rear springs, didn't I? Do we have We have one? Oh, bugger it, that's going to have to do. Uh, <laughs> let's get two rear shocks then on here. Uh, rear, oh, I don't know which one we want. Which one do we want? Rear shock absorber B. It's always better to uh, always better to check and make sure that you're going for the for the right one. Again, quite easy to waste money as I'm, as you've already seen me do once here. I'm not going to do it again. And then we need a cap for there. Da, 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 rear shock absorber cap. Yes, that's a lot of money for for the for the cap bit there. See, um, yeah. <laughs> Kind of hoping for we need more cheap parts, guys. If things, if more things need sort of full-on replacing, if we could get some more cheap parts, that would be sweet. Uh, right. Okay. We need solid. What's it? Solid axle control arm. Okay. We can get one of them. Uh, oh, have I? Oh, there we go. That'll do. Uh, all right. That's, okay. That's not too bad. Like some parts, I'm kind of sat here like expecting it to be really expensive, and they aren't. And then the other ones, I'm expecting them to be hopefully cheap, and they're really not. That's not much nicer. We can deal with them. We can, de we can deal with $7 parts. That's okay. Uh, oh, both of these U-bolts are decent as well. Uh, amount of bloody ones that the U-bolts have changed in these cars. Again, it's the easy kind of missions to work with, some of these. So, yeah, you, you kind of get slightly lazy. Uh, I say you get slightly lazy. I always pick the easy missions, quick money, basically. So I kind of get used to doing certain jobs, and that's one that I've changed many of. Fuel tank, that would be quite a useful one. Let's see if we can. How much, are, how much are the fuel tanks? Again, I'm assuming it's a standardised fuel tank across all of the cars. Indeed it is. And it's a fairly expensive one. Fuel pump. Ah, 100%. Fantastic. <laughs> now you just love when you have the parts. Uh, ready to go. I think, is that all the back of the car? Like, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm missing bits, but again, I think that's just because I've been working on lots of uh, other vehicles that have had much more complicated rear suspension setups. I mean... <laughs> 
<laughs> these cars were not the most as much as I love the love them they're not the most sophisticated of vehicles so yeah perhaps that's actually kind of working slightly in our favor here really we do only have 1783 we need both rear brake drums but the rest of the insides are okay so we can get the drums if I can click in the right place again the drums are not too bad uh, I think all of the wheels were in pretty good shape as well um, if I remembered correctly yeah I think I repaired these pretty well uh, there's one that's like 71% and I'm sat here going, oh, do I go and take it over to the uh, thing and, and, and risk? Ah, I'm missing a wheel. How am I missing a wheel? Oh, maybe I broke one, of course. I was going to say, how <laughs> am I missing a wheel? But yeah, that's probably how. Oh, that's going to suck. Uh, crap. Uh, vented disc. We need two vented discs. Uh, oh, these are probably going to be expensive. Uh, oh, wait, I can't spell. Uh, I should probably just get back to the, the, the way that I normally do, is just type in the first couple of characters and you'll find what you want, really, uh, most of the time. Oh, crap, the pads are shot to hell. I, I hope I had working calipers. Please let me have working calipers, because, again, that's more money I can ill afford when we're starting to get down this, uh, <laughs> this end of things. It is, uh, yeah... Uh, oh yeah, we've got plenty of working calipers, and if the worst comes to the worst, I can just sell. Uh, oh, we haven't got any of them either. Uh, I can sell again, sell some more bits that we have in the in the inventory to try and make the make the make ends meet. Essentially, how much money is this car worth now at current state? Oh, oh, thirty-six thousand nine hundred. Fantastic. We're only missing a, a few parts here and there. Oh, rubber bushings. Yeah, we're probably going to need a billion of them. So let's not worry about that. Uh, <laughs> Nice. We are looking in. We are looking in pretty good stead, actually. We're going to make. We're looking in good stead, probably for our next car, as uh, that'll have everything. Sort of um, everything. We'll probably be able to get new for that one. Wheel hub cap. Yeah, I assume it was them that we needed. I hope that is anyway. Again, I, just, I shouldn't assume, but uh, there we go. Oh wait, of course wheel. Uh, oh, do we go and take that over here? I would quite like to have at least have the wheels looking brand new, all sides. Oh god, we'll go go for it. 97%, that'll do. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk it. I know it's only a 10% chance of failing, but anyone who's played XCOM will know how um, dodgy that decision can end up being. So, yeah, we will, we will stick that there. It's kind of a, kind of sucks that you have like a 90% chance of fixing a part, but it's only by a random amount. It's not to 100% chance. But if you fail on fixing a part, it's just kind of instant, uh, instant destruction of the part. I mean, I guess it kind of makes. Uh, Kind of makes sense, sort of mechanically wise. It's just a little bit of a pain in the ass, kind of game game logic wise. What rims are we on? Um, which is what I, I think about it. Uh, assembly. There we go. Re retro rim eight. I think was that retro rim eight. Please don't be too expensive. Retro rim eight. Uh, rim retro eight. Ah, okay. Two hundred dollars. That's not too bad. Uh, just stick that on there. Right. We've got almost four very shiny wheels on the Reptilia. Uh, right, what have we got? So that's pretty much all of the front done, uh, here. Basically, which is pretty good. Uh, oh, we don't have an oil pan, though. That's kind of an important part <laughs> for the vehicle. We don't want it leaking oil everywhere. Uh, we may end up having to sell it without a... without the full bodywork. The bodywork is quite expensive. Um, it's not as expensive as I thought it was, but it's going to be like sort of $150, $250 per per thing and I think I'd probably be better off getting 100% of the bits inside the car uh, working first. Uh, did I have a good oil? No I don't have a good uh, oil filter. Right we can get one of them as well. While we're down here so if I lower the car at any point you'd have to keep putting it back up again. Uh, I'll try my best to do stuff in vaguely the correct order. Uh, front exhaust pipe they are all broken and all far beyond repair. Uh, do we have any? Oh, of course, we'll just check those. Uh, right, so we need a front exhaust pipe, a middle muffler, and two rear mufflers. So, let's see. We're down to a thousand. Okay, exhausts are not too bad, I don't think. And then we'll get to the rears. Uh, we're, we're running out of money quite quickly. Rear muffler, and yes, we want both of them. Okay, we've got like battery to go, brake server to go. Oh, I might, I might have got this timed. Oh, I say timed. I might have got it financially wise down really, really close. I think. Uh, what was the other bits that we had? Uh, brake servo. We've got the rubber bushings, clip bees, battery. All oh, right. Okay. We are actually really, <laughs> we're really close. But it is actually looking really good in terms of, um, yeah, in terms of the car. I think we need three more rubber bushings. They are nice and cheap. Uh, these ones here. One, two, three. Right, five hundred dollars for a battery, 
couple of clips. Uh, what else was it that needed doing? Uh, the brake servo. Oh, I hope the brake servo is not too much. Don't don't remember. Uh, right, get the rubber bushings. These are sneaky buggers. They're always the thing that get broken that you can't that you spend forever trying to faff about and find. Um, right, that can go in there. Then I think you are pretty much done with everything on the lift, aren't we? Doesn't need to be up in the air for any more time. Right, car, come down. We need to do the last final bits in here. So, battery. We do have a battery, but I might as well get a new one, seeing as that one there is absolutely ruined. Ooh, they're quite expensive. Uh, I'm hoping that we might just about have enough parts in my inventory to sell that... Um, Break servo. <laughs> we don't have our last ninety-four dollars. We just put all of our money into into this car. So that's pretty much all of the mechanical parts. Uh, oh, uh, rubber bushing. Oh, there's probably some hidden around the back, isn't there? Clip B. Oh, they're going to be on here, aren't they? Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, good. They're in nice condition. We've got. That's the most important thing. We have good condition clips holding the. <laughs> <laughs> holding the distributor together. Crap, you're gonna have to go up again, aren't you? There's, they're gonna be in the rear suspension bits, aren't they? Uh, bugger. Uh, let me guess. Can we spot where they are? Probably not quite. Oh, please don't get to them without having to take the wheels off again. Uh, I don't think it actually lets you put stuff. Yeah, it doesn't let you put the wheels on unless, uh, unless there's no bits that you can't get to. If that makes sense, you have to do it. You have to do everything in a certain order, so you can't kind of screw yourself over by putting uh, like a whole bunch of parts on, like putting it all together and having one bit hidden in the middle that you need to redo. I don't think it. Uh, I certainly don't remember it ever having done that to me. So I think we can probably. Uh, safely say that that's all sorted. Um, right, that was all of the mechanical bits of the car done. The worst condition thing, a couple of 59%. Car is currently worth $39,000, which is a hell of a lot more than when we got it. Let's drop the car down. Right, let's have a look at our inventory. So all of this crap in here is stuff that we don't really need anymore. I bought a couple too many valves. I could count and talk at the same time. Uh, there's some good condition calipers, but I don't really care about any of that. Let's sell the lot of it. Yes, I will take up 1,900. So we should now be able to get the remaining part. So front left and front right fenders, front bumper. Uh, oh, headlights. I don't know what condition they're in. Um, normal mode. Uh, I, di I didn't even think about the headlights, of course. We should take them out. And oh, we've got the rear ones as well. I forgot about the lights. God oh, dear. I'm slacking. Get rid of those lights. Now, please let me fix you, okay? <laughs> and I think we should probably be okay, likewise. Right, rear tail light. Oh, wow, that was a, that was a really efficient fix, that one there. Uh, come on, we can do better than that. 100%, 80%, 87 while we're here. Go, oh, bugger. <laughs> we were on a roll, goddammit. Uh, right, uh, assemble mode. Which one was it? It wasn't the right headlight. The right headlight was ruined. Left headlight's okay. See? And one of these was fixed, and I don't remember which one. Uh, not the left, left ruined, so the right tail light is in good nick. Okay, so now we just need both fenders, uh, front bumper, and a right headlight. Let's get that one's first. Da, 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 da. I think, yes, I already had this whole page loaded up. So we want both fenders, a front bumper, and a. I've forgotten already, right headlight. It was right headlight. I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> We want a front... Do we not have a... Oh, okay. Right, yeah, it's confusing. But I was like, looking for lights, but of course, because it's got uh, pop-up headlights, it doesn't quite show up in the same way in the um, menu system. Right, fenders going on there. Uh, we don't have a boot on this car, which still confuses me slightly. Uh, rear bumper. Okay, right, we need a rear bumper. Da, 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 da. Yes, Oh, we, we're going to have used pretty much all of our money. However... Oh, I didn't get one of those either, did we? Left tail light. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we're going to be down to our last our last thousand dollars, but the car is going to be ah door front right door. That's the other thing. That we, I don't think it came ever came with a door. I think we're missing a door. Oh, <laughs> all of our money on the door. Right, it's been rebuilt. It has been returned to its former glory. I will be honest. It is not the most exciting of colours a car. I would respray it to something better, something nicer. However, it costs one thousand five hundred, and I don't have the money anymore. It's worth fifty thousand dollars. We might have to go for a little sneaky drive, I think, uh, <laughs> with the car before before we sell it and get the money for it. I know it's quite not quite pristine, but we are basically out of money 
on uh, on the rebuild. Let's go for a little drive. Ah, might help you put oil in the engine first. That that would that would be quite useful. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right, that's the ticket. That's what we need to be doing next. Uh, I'm glad it tells me that and you don't just end up firing it up without... I, I, like, when I started out putting stuff together again, I thought, right, I must remember the oil. And I didn't remember the oil. Uh, right, how are we doing? Uh, look at part. We can do that. Uh, I can't remember how to... How, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do. Um, right, now we should be good to go. What am I missing, game? Hey, fantastic. Unfortunately, the um, kind of realm of excitement, really, for, for testing the vehicle is just this area. Uh, you can't go too far afield with your nice, newly rebuilt car. Um, no, I was going... I can't say I've ever looked this way. I was wondering, can we can we go exploring? We probably shouldn't. Uh, go exploring over there. There's, there's walls all around the other places. Can we fit our car up? Oh, there's nowhere to go up there, is there? No, ah, oh, there's just walls. There's just solid walls, so we can't really go exploring particularly far. However, the car is, as you can see, fully functioning. We have reverse working. Um, yeah, I, quite an accomplishment, really, to have uh, rebuilt this, what was a horrible, horrible rust bucket. And, uh, yeah, pretty much got it running in, in nice condition. It's, uh, it's a bit hard to control the keyboard, I will be honest, because of, of this performance. Don't hurt my nice new suspension, please. Don't hurt the nice new suspension. There we go. And test the brakes and the handbrake. Of course, you've got to finish. you got to finish with a spin. That's kind of just my rules with, the, <laughs> with that. Well, there we go. That is the the Reptilia has been been refurbished to a to a fairly decent condition. Used all of our money fixing up the car. And it is now time to uh, sell the vehicle on. I'd kind of like to have an auction house for selling the vehicle. I think that would be kind of a cool, uh, a cool little feature to uh, to be able to sell on. Uh, however, it's just a, a simple case of selling the uh, the car from there. So bye bye Reptilia. You have been you've been a fun rebuild actually. A relatively a relatively straightforward one. Relatively. Uh, simple parts wise with the fairly <laughs> fairly simplistic suspension and so on. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that was my first my first car rebuild. We have made a lovely profit on this one. Goodbye to the uh, to the Reptilia. Got fifty one thousand dollars now to go and buy our next project car. That gives us an awful lot of possibilities. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.